That would have been a mean thing for me to say. Um. <laughs> anyway, um, I know it's hard to tell, but there was a time where I wasn't this cool. I used to be into some really nerdy stuff. When I was in middle school and high school, I was really, in, I was really into uh, Lord of the Rings. Woo! Like, cool. Where were you guys when I was getting beat up? Um, <laughs> up here. I was <laughs> up here getting beat up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, I was really into Star Wars and Star Trek and Dungeons and Dragons. Um, not as many collapse. Cool. Um, You're awesome. uh, I was into Risk and Magic: The Gathering. Basically, oh, yeah. any, any, oh, anything that would make a girl avoid you. That's what I was into. Woo! And I wrote this song and I dedicate it to myself. Because <laughs> um, it, it's a cautionary tale, and I just want to tell, you know, 13 year old me to get a life. Um, and stop getting beat up. Now, I wrote this song, it's called Nerd Out. If you guys have any nerdy Woo! demons, feel free to exercise them right now. Um, there are some things that, like, uh, I can't really see your hands too. I'll step out real quick. Oh, this is a great turnout. Um, <laughs> I've been serious. Um, <laughs> Trust me, some of my shows, this is, this is an awesome turnout. This is a stadium compared to, oh, anyway. Um, hands up, hands up if you feel like you're a pretty cool person, you got it together, you feel good about yourself, where you are in life. Cool, don't judge the, a person beside you if they raise your hand. Just let them be honest. All right, hands out, hands up if you feel like you're in between. Sometimes you have some flashes of brilliance and coolness and some, some cool, awesome. Hands up if you feel just hopeless, lost. You wake up in the mirror, you're like, I can't tie my shoes. How did this happen? <laughs> That's how I feel. That's how I feel every day. This isn't for the cool people. This is, you guys are on some other stuff that the rest of us in the real world will never aspire to. Um, but uh, for those who've been beat up for liking something nerdy, and, and, and I'll just say this, and this is not a part of the set, I just wanna say this. Um, and this is not an attempt to pander or to bash anyone. Um, because I think this is, it's just honest. Uh, hands up if you if you read or watched Twilight and you like it. Cool. Don't boo. Don't boo because you're gonna get your chance. Hands up if you've read it, seen it, or haven't seen it and don't care to. Okay. Cool. Um, I haven't read it, but I have recently watched the first two. I watched the first Twilight and I watched New Moon. And honestly, I don't see what the fuss is about either way. I don't think it's amazing and I don't think it's horrible. I think it's just like a good movie, like. If I was on an airplane, I'd watch it. <laughs> I'm not gonna dress up and put diamonds on my chest. But it's so much fun. To go see it. Um, I'm not gonna sparkle when I get above the tree line or anything like that, but um, that's all, I, 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 that has nothing to do with anything, I'm sorry. I, I was just asking a question. All right, this song's called Nerd Out. I hope you guys don't hate it. Um, I feel really self-conscious tonight. I don't know what's going on. I feel like freaking Woody Allen. Here we go. <laughs> I feel, like I, I feel like I walked in and I was outside taking pictures, just oblivious, and I didn't know what was going on. Real quick, I will ask you guys to do something. How, hands up if you've ever been to a rap show before. You've been to? Hands up if you haven't. And if you haven't raised your hand. <laughs> okay. Um, hands up if you don't know. <coughs> College has been a blur and you're just not sure where you've been. Cool. Anybody? No? Hair is the only one? Okay. Yep, that sounds about right. All right. Well, um, I'd never been to a rap show until I did one. Um, I guess you can call it what I do rap. Anyway, I just wanted to find that out. Maybe I feel less self-conscious now. Here we go. This one's called Nerd Out. I'll be like it. They call me Obi-Wan, just let the words wash over you. I'm snapping necks, cashing checks, ringtone rap you to death. It's so easy to be so easy, e with my chucks and immaculate vest. My shrine to Peter Jackson, I like New Zealand accents. Watch me change my last name from McNeese to freaking Baggins. You keep your hands off, hand off. No, there's no pants off, dance off. Just members only, jackets and gadgets. We 
dudes for magic. I like your Liger binder. I got my coat on vinyl. My girl Afonda knows I wanna be a cage fighter. Better put the word out. Get ready for the nerd out. Better put specs on. Better bring next son. I cut handsome checks for my expansion sets. They call me Obi-Wan. Y'all is on, toss the baton, Comic Con with a costume on. I'm dressed just like Lord Zed. Yes, Zorn on, you're all dead. I'm so James T. Kirk, it hurts me. USS Curly's curtsy. Cling on, ladies, cling on, baby. My phaser's on safety. Fitted with a stick full quidditch. No one ever stole that snitch, got acquitted. R.I.P. Cedric Niggery. It looks like Edward's bigger P. I got my Twilight Nightlight. 12 sided die for my fight night. King of the RPG, boots of escape and a cardigan piece. Now my favorite movie of all time is Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Woo! But if I ever meet Peter Jackson in person, I'm gonna punch him in the throat and I'll tell you why. Because he left the most important person from the book out of the movie. Anybody know who that is? Tom Bombadil! <laughs> right You're getting a free CD. Instead of right. His name's Tom Bombadil. He's the guy that when he put on the ring, he was unaffected by its evil powers. I feel Tom Bombadil represents the church, unscathed by the evils of the world. I had like eight girls break away from saying the same thing. You guys shouldn't be any different. Give this lady a round of applause for knowing the answer. What are you doing later? Ah, ah, better put the word out. Get ready for the nerd out. Better put specs on. Better break next son. I cut handsome checks for my expansion sets. They call me OP1. Act like you know me, son. I can't really see if that was a lady or a guy. Either way, I'm still down. I have only. It's too dark, I can't tell. I've only. <laughs> Hands up if you've ever broken up with somebody before. A lot of people. Hands up if you've been broken up with before. It's not as many people. Someone's lying. <laughs> I've only broken up with two girls in my life. Both were movie related. I took a girl to see Lord of the Rings. I said, that was amazing. What did you think? She said, I thought it was stupid. I said, what's your favorite movie of all time? She said, Dirty Dancing Part 2, Havana Nights. Oh, gosh. I broke up with her on the spot. Hallelujah. <laughs> The other girl I took to see Wally. You guys ever seen Wally before? <laughs> Fantastic. She said she thought it was a waste of her time. I said, I think this is a waste of my time. I took her to Buffalo Wild Wings and made her take a cab home because that's my style. Now, at the end of the song, I want a round of applause. Not for me, not for yourselves, but for every nerdy dude who's been broken up with like 400 times. But one day he's going to get to break up with one girl. It's going to be the best day of his life. Get that guy a hand wherever he is. Play a few more songs, you guys have been sweet. Thank you.